Hi, my name is Dr. Sunny Chung with Newport Care Orthopedics. I'm going to talk about causes of shoulder pain from long head biceps tendonitis. Now, a lot of patients come to me in the shoulder clinic complaining of pain in the shoulder when the culprit is actually the biceps tendon. Now, most of us think of the biceps as being in the middle of the upper arm, but actually the tendon attaches up top, and so a problem with the biceps tendon up top can make the patient feel like they have shoulder pain. Usually, when the long head of the biceps tendon is inflamed or partially frayed, it can cause pain in the shoulder. Usually, I start with physical therapy and steroid injections to reduce the inflammation and rehabilitate the tendon. However, if they fail conservative management, then we can think about a surgery to address that tendon. Now, when it comes to surgery, there's two options. We can either just cut the tendon and let it fly, or we make a separate incision downstream, maybe about three centimeters, drill a hole in the bone, cut out the diseased tendon, and plug the healthy stump of tendon and muscle into the bone, bypassing the diseased tendon. Surprisingly, both options give about the same pain relief. Now, of course, if we just cut the tendon and let it fly, patients would lose about 15% of their flexion strength, and they lose about 25% of their supination strength, which is this. So that's important for turning screwdrivers, opening jars, turning keys. Now, the other option of making the separate incision and plugging a tendon into the bone works well, but of course, there's some short-term pain, but patients would be, uh, they would still have their original strength back and they can go back to their regular activities. Most of the younger patients that are high demand will opt for the separate incision to restore the bicep strength. 